Looks like we're good. Hey, everybody. I'm Jill. I'll be guiding us through this our vinyasa class today. So we are mere days away from the winter solstice, um, which I'm sure you're well aware is the, uh, the longest night of the year. My super fun fact for the solstice is that the winter solstice, we have um, about eight hours more darkness than we do in the summer solstice. So it's a natural time, I think, for most of us to want to kind of hunker down and be quieter and uh, maybe more self-reflective, like do a lot of inner work. Um, and of course, that makes total sense. And yoga is also always looking to seek balance. And so today's practice is, uh, I think there's a fair bit of flow, fair bit of strength asked of us to kind of build some internal heat so we keep that balance. Um, I don't know about you, but this time of year rolls around and I feel like if I don't make a plan to be active, it doesn't happen. The day has gone by and I've um, not really moved much at all. So this is kind of my own personal <laughs> way to counteract that and to keep that internal warmth. Um, so I encourage you to employ your ujjayi breath today. We'll talk more about that as we move through class, but um, think about building that internal heat and keeping it going. All right, cool. Good to hear from you all. Um, what else? There's a little bit of standing splits. So if you like blocks for that or supports of some sort, then grab them. And then we'll begin seated. So begin, if it feels right in your body, find hero's pose, which is where you're sitting on your heels. And if that is not comfortable for you, any other seat is great. It could be cross-legged. You could sit on a block or support. Find something that works for you. And then take a moment to maybe close your eyes. Do a light scan of your body. Notice what there is to notice. Notice what sensations are present. If you haven't already, start to make your breathing slower and fuller. Visualize your tailbone sinking down into the floor as though it's made of lead. Visualize the crown of your head reaching up just a little bit back as though it's made of helium. Continue to breathe at your own pace. <clears throat> With your next inhale, shrug your shoulders up towards your ears. Next exhale, let them fall down your back, roll down. Two more times like that. Breath in as shoulders up. Breath out, let them melt down. Last one, inhale, shoulders up. Exhale, shoulders fall down. And with this time, inhale, extend your arms overhead, reach up. You can open up your eyes if you like. Exhale, take eagle arms of your right arm underneath your left. You can always grab your shoulders or bring your palms to touch. A moment here, allow some space to open up through shoulders, upper back. And then you might choose to really gently send your hands and your forearms just slightly to the right. So you're increasing the stretch in your left shoulder. <clears throat> Good, release with arms up in the air, inhale. Exhale, eagle arms, other arm under, left arm under. This time you might send your forearms slightly to the left. Good. 
it back up to center. Inhale, arms up. And then exhale, hands to heart. Want to make sure everything's okay with class. Um, getting this note from a student wondering. It sounds like maybe you guys can't see me or hear me. Is that right? Well, thanks for letting me know. I'm going to keep teaching. Um, and I hope it works. Hope it gets, gets better. I'm not really sure uh, what's going on there. I'm going to keep teaching and hope it works out for the best. Okay, so we are hands at heart. Let's do inhale, arms up one more time. This this time, exhale, twist to the right. So bring one hand down behind the floor, behind your back on the floor, one hand to your knee. Look over your right shoulder. And then inhale, arms up, back to center. Exhale, twist left. Look over your left shoulder. Good. Back up to center. Inhale. Then exhale, come forward to hands and knees. Let's find tabletop. For cow pose, and then inhale, drop your belly, look forward. Exhale, round your spine, press the floor away, head drops. And continue to flow through a few rounds of your cat cow. Warm up your spine. Let your breath help you to choreograph your movements. So an inhale takes the full movement into cow pose. An exhale takes the full transition into cat. A few more rounds, one more, maybe one more round of breath. And then back to neutral, back to tabletop. Cool. With an inhale, curl your toes under, listen. And then exhale, hover your knees. Hover your knees. So you're starting to fire up core, building up a little bit of fire here. <laughs> a theme for the rest of the class. We're hoping to build some internal kind of belly fire to stay warm through practice, to find that sense of balance in this chilly day. Keep pulling low belly in and up. Press the floor away. Let's stay for three. We'll take down dog in two. And then one downward facing dog, hips up and then back. First one, add any movement you like. Maybe pedal your feet a few times, bend your knees. Keep pulling low belly in and up. And then downward facing dog. Take an inhale. Lift your right leg high. Three-legged dog. And then breathe here. So think about pulling away from the midline. So press your heel back. Press your shoulders away like you want to press the floor away. So you're trying to add length here. Heel as far away from fingertips as you can. Here's another breath in. And then breath out, step your foot forward for a lunge, and set your left knee down. For a crescent moon, take an inhale, lift your chest up, your arms up, and then breathe. You might shift your hips slightly forward. Clasp your hands behind your back to add some space to your chest. It's always okay to grab shoulders, or rather grab um, elbows if that feels more natural in your body. Let's find some space across fronts of shoulders and chest.
And then back up to crescent moon. Inhale his arms up. Exhale, bring your hands to the floor for half splits. So shift your hips back, flex your right toes up. You're working towards straight right leg. It doesn't have to happen yet. It's early in class. Give yourself a lot of grace here as you find some length in your hamstrings. Guide your right hip back. To make low back really supported, pull low belly in and up. Let's take one more round of breath here. Come forward to your low lunge, tuck your back toes, lift your back knee. Let's take scorpion dog. So inhale, lift your right leg, bend your knee, and then breathe. Think, point your knee to the sky. At the same time, let your right shoulder soften down. So shoulders stay pretty much parallel to the floor. Take another breath in. Down dog is the breath out. Inhale, lift your left leg. And same thing as you breathe here, think pull away from the midline. So press your heel back, shoulders away from the midline too, shoulders like away from your hips. Let's take one more breath in. Breath out, step your foot forward between your hands, set your back knee down. Inhale this crescent moon, chest and arms up. And then breathe. Take a moment. You might guide your left hip back, maybe hips slightly more forward to add more space in the front of your right hip. And then clasp your hands behind your back or grab elbows if you prefer. Find some space across your shoulders and chest. And we're back to crescent moon. Inhale his arms up. Exhale, hands down for half splits. Walk your hands back, hips back. Flex your left toes up. Same thing, left knee, give it permission to have a little ease there if that feels better. Maybe let your head relax down. And then breathe into where there's sensation. Imagine sending your breath right to that spot. One more round of breath. Come forward till your lunge. Let's take scorpion dog on this side. Inhale, left knee up in your down dog. And as you breathe here, same thing. Think knee to the sky. Left shoulder softens back down. Sometimes it wants to come on the twist with your left leg. But when you let your shoulder soften back down, you might actually find more stretch in your left side body, more opening. One more breath in. Down dog and the breath out. Down dog, stick an inhale. On your exhale, walk up to the top of your mat. Find ragdoll. Soften your knees. Let your head relax. You might take any bind you like in your arms. If you've been enjoying that space across your chest, you might clasp your hands behind your back. Take a breath in. And on your breath out, drop your hands towards the floor. Keep your feet exactly as they are for right now. We'll add a twist here. So left hand underneath your nose on the floor or your support if you prefer. With an inhale, sweep your right arm up and to the right, and then breathe. It's okay for a left knee to bend. You'll probably get maybe a little even deeper stretch in your right IT band if you do. Take another breath in, maybe reach right fingers a half inch higher. And then exhale, right hand down. Let's switch, soften your right knee. Inhale, left arm up, twist left. Find some space across your chest. Like your collarbones are finding more distance between them. Breath in. Left hand down, breath out. Bring your feet towards each other, toe heel. Then inhale, rise all the way to mountain pose. Extend your arms up overhead as you stand. Pause here and breathe. Pull low belly in and up. And so the act of extending your arms overhead builds a little bit of heat too. If your shoulders um, want more kindness right now, more ease, then bring hands to heart. We'll take a moment to find ujjayi breath if you haven't already. 
It's an inhale through your nose. It's an audible exhale through your nose. Again, breath in through your nose. Audible exhale through your nose. So continue to flow this heat building breath, this energy building breath, this internal fire breath. Keep that flowing. And now if your arms or if your hands are heart center, extend them up to mountain on an inhale, breath in. Forward fold is the breath out. Halfway lift, inhale. Forward fold again is the exhale. Inhale is mountain, stand up, arms up. Hands to heart, exhale. The inhale, mountain. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, mountain, arms up. Exhale, hands to heart. Inhale is mountain. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. This time, exhale, step your right foot back for a lunge. Set your right knee down. Inhale, crescent moon, chest up, arms up, optional look up. Exhale, plank, step your left foot back next to right. Plank, stay for your breath in, actively press the floor away. Lower all the way to belly on the breath out. Extend your arms long by your sides. Inhale, locust pose. Lift everything you can possibly lift. Head, chest, arms, legs, breathe. Send your fingers towards your heels. Keep pulling low belly, rather keep squeezing shoulder blades to do together rather. One more inhale. Exhale, hands under shoulders, tuck your toes, down dog. Step your right foot forward, set your left knee down. Inhale, crescent moon, optional look up. Then exhale, hands down, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale as mountain pose, rise. Exhale, hands to heart. Inhale, mountain, keep flowing. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Step your left foot back. Exhale, lunge. Set your left knee down, low lunge. Inhale, crescent moon. Maybe hips guide slightly forward. Exhale, plank. Stay for the breath in, press the floor away, plank. Lower all the way to belly, breath out, arms by your sides. Inhale, locust, shalabhasana. Exhale, hands under shoulders, down dog. Step your left foot forward, right knee down. Inhale, crescent moon. Exhale, hands down, forward fold. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, mountain. Exhale, hands to heart. Inhale, mountain. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. This time, exhale, plank. Plant your hands, step your feet back. Keep pulling low belly in and up. It's totally fine to set your knees down. Make sure either way, knees up or down. Shoulders are right on top of wrists. Neck is long. Breath continues to flow. Hold plank for another three. Press the floor away, stay for two. Down dog on one, hips up and then back. Take a full breath in. And let a full breath go. One more breath in. One more breath out. Inhale, lift your right leg high, three-legged dog, press your heel away. Exhale, lunge, step it up between your hands. Now inhale is low flying crescent, so lift your chest about halfway off your belly. Send your arms back, airplane arms, and breathe. Engage your left quad. Guide your right hip back, maybe just a little bit. Maybe it's only energetically, it doesn't actually move. But you feel like if it were to move, that's the direction it would go. Make sure your neck is long, so you're not letting your head drop here. Keep pulling low belly in and up. One more moment here. And then inhale as warrior two, back heel down, arms out wide. Pause. Squeeze shoulder blades slightly together. 
Find a steady gaze across your front fingertips, right fingertips. Strong lunge in your right leg. Take a breath in for reverse warrior. Left arm down, right arm up and over. Pause here. Check in that your knee's still right on top. Your ankle hasn't drifted over to the left. Take another breath in. Maybe reach it another half inch of your right fingertips. Exhale, extended side angle. Reach forward, right arm down. Left arm circles up by your ear. You can look up towards the sky or forward or down. Make your neck be long. Keep pulling low belly in. Roll your shoulders open. Good. For reverse triangle, inhale, straighten your right leg. Left arm down. Stretch your right arm way up and over. And as you breathe here, check in with your right hip. If you feel like it's kind of sloping down, lift that hip point up another inch or two. Breath in to reach. Breath out is low lunge. So hands pivot down to frame your right foot. Pivot your left heel up. Keep pulling low belly in and up. And now fire a core, maybe even more. Inhale is extended crescent. Lift your chest. Reach your arms forward. Breathe. So you're looking for a line of energy from your left heel all the way through your fingertips. Take a breath in. Prepare to step forward. Exhale, chair plane, airplane arms. Step your left foot next to your right, chair plane. So chair pose of airplane arms. Send your shoulders down your back. Inhale is standing back bend, straighten your legs, lift your arms up, look up. You can always bend your elbows if you like. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, plank. This time for Chaturanga, shift slightly forward on your toes, take an inhale. Then exhale, bend your elbows halfway or less. Make sure your neck stays long. Inhale for upward facing dog, heart forward, shoulders away from ears. Exhale, down dog, hips up and then back. Take a full breath in. Let a full breath go. Take an inhale, lift your left leg. Exhale, lunge, dip it through towards your hands. Inhale is extended, inhale rather is low flying crescent, lift your chest, airplane arms. Pause, make your neck long. Guide your left hip back, firm your right quads, your right thigh. Take another inhale. And exhale, open up to warrior two, back heel down, arms out wide, Virabhadrasana two. Pause here, find a solid foundation, make your back foot active, check your left knee alignment right on top of your ankle. Check in with your hips here too, sometimes left hip wants to slope down here on this side as well, if you lift your hip point another inch. Take a breath in for reverse warrior, right arm down, left arm up, pause here, very little weight in your back hand. Big opening through your left side body. Another inhale. Exhale, extended side angle. Reach forward, left arm down, right arm alongside your ear. Think stack right shoulder on top of left. Look where it makes sense for your neck. Keep your neck as long as you can. Keep pressing through your back heel. Keep making your back foot really active. And then for reverse triangle, straighten your front leg. Big inhale to reach back, stretch back. Exhale is low lunge. Hands frame your front foot. Pivot your back heel up. Find that extended crescent. Inhale, lift your chest. Reach your arms forward. Pause here. Left hip back. Low belly in. Neck long. Breath in. Prepare to step forward. Exhale, chair plane. Airplane arms. Land light as you can. Inhale, standing back bend on you, Uttasana. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, this time Chaturanga or maybe lower down, all the way to belly. Inhale is locust or upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, lift your right leg. Exhale, lunge. Inhale, low flying crescent, airplane arms. Exhale, warrior two. 
Inhale, reverse warrior. Exhale, extended side angle. Inhale, reverse triangle. Exhale, hands down, low lunge. Inhale, extended crescent. Exhale, chair plane. Inhale, standing back bend. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, chaturanga or plank. Inhale, up dog or locust, or maybe hold your plank. Exhale, down dog. Inhale, lift your left leg. Exhale, lunge. Inhale, low flying crescent airplane arms. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, reverse warrior. Exhale, extended side angle. Inhale, reverse triangle. Take up a lot of space. Exhale, hands down, low lunge. Here's that extended crescent. Inhale, reach forward, neck super long. Exhale, chair plane. Inhale, standing back bend. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, you choose a transition. Could be chaturanga and up dog. Could be lower to belly and locust. Breath in. Breath out, down dog. Inhale, lift your right leg. This time, exhale, knee to nose. Shift your weight forward. Get high on the ball mat of your foot. Stack your shoulders on top of your wrists. Hold this for three. Press the floor away, stay for two. Step it forward on one. Inhale, low flying crescent airplane arms. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, reverse warrior. Exhale, extended side angle, and then pause here. Your option is to stay, of course. Always great to stay, plenty of work to be had here. Or add a half bind, maybe wrap your left hand behind your back. If you're craving something else to add in here, you might extend your right arm forward and face your palm to the sky like you're holding a tray. Wherever you are, steady breath. Deep in that ujjayi breath, stay here for three. We'll find reverse triangle in two. And on one, inhale, straighten your front leg, reach back. Exhale, low lunge. Inhale, extended crescent. Exhale, chair plane. Inhale, standing back bend. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, your transition. Inhale for any lift pose you're keeping or lifting and taking. Exhale, down dog. Inhale, lift your left leg. Exhale, knee to nose, shift forward, shoulders on top of wrist, knee in tight for three. Keep pulling low belly in and up, two. Step it forward, one. Inhale, low flying, airplane arms. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, reverse warrior. Exhale, extended side angle. And again, stay if that serves you best or half bind, or maybe send your right arm forward, palm to the ceiling, roll your right shoulder open, no matter what, breathe for three. Breathe for two. Reverse triangle on one, inhale, straighten your leg, big reach back. Exhale, lunge, hands down, back heel up. Inhale, extended crescent. Exhale, chair plane. <clears throat> Inhale, standing back bend. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, chaturanga or plank or lower to your belly. Inhale, locust or up dog or keep your plank. Exhale, downward facing dog. Take a full breath in. Let a full breath go. One more like that, breath in, clear it out, breath out. 
Downward facing dogs. Let's shift forward to high plank. Shift your weight forward, stack your shoulders on top of your wrists. Make any adjustments you like in your stance to find a really stable plank pose. Keep pulling low belly in and up. <clears throat> Good, and then step your feet towards each other. For side plank, we'll spin heels to the right first. Heels go right, <clears throat> left arm goes up. Pause, make sure your shoulders are right on top of your wrist. It's always okay to set your bottom knee down. Big reach in your right arm. And your option here is to stay or maybe float your top leg. We'll all be setting your right foot down to the floor in just a moment, just three. We're here for two. And then on one, set your top leg down, left leg down. So you're kind of like you're working towards a low horizon lunge, which is where we're headed. So for a low horizon lunge, reach towards the, your back foot with your top arm. Let your hips slowly start to sink towards the floor. And then this time we'll come all the way down. So let your hips come all the way down. So you're pressing through back heel, which is right leg. Left foot is on the floor. Good, so since we're here, we'll take advantage of kind of a nice stretch. So let your ribs kind of like melt over towards the right. It can be useful to actually put your hand on them so you can feel something move. Having that kinesthetic sense sometimes helps the stretch to happen. So it's like your ribs are gonna fan open as you shift them slightly to the right. Shoulder might come up by your ear, totally fine. Breathe in that stretch. Once you feel like you've got as much stretch as going to happen, left hand can chill on your knee. Let's take one more moment here. Good, right, so look where you're headed. We're gonna come back to plank, look down to the floor. Left hand down, step your left foot next to your right, plank pose. And now let's do all of that on the other side, feet together, heels go left, right arm goes up for side plank, vasishtasana. Do your best to stack your feet. If they're staggered, totally fine. Just be on the knife edge. You might float your top leg. Be sure you're breathing for three. We'll put your right down in front, foot down in front of your left leg in two. And then on one, bend your knee, plant your foot all the way down. Reach your top arm to the back of your mat towards your back foot. And then slowly, so with control, start to sink your hip down, low horizon. And then hip all the way down. Once your hip is all the way down, be sure you're continuing to press through your back foot. Make sure front foot is flat on the floor. And then your right hand could come to your left side rib cage if that was helpful on the other side. And think about ribs kind of just gently shifting to the left. Shoulder might come up by your ear. So you're finding a really good stretch for intercostals, which are, I'm sure you know, those little muscles between your ribs, which are essential for taking really deep breaths. If those muscles are flexible, it allows us to take really deep and full breaths. When they're a little stiff and tight, that's when breathing might feel shallow or irregular. This is hopefully finding us helping us find a deeper breath. All right, so we're gonna take the same transition back to plank, look down at the floor, right hand comes down, step your right foot next to your left, plank pose, we stay for another three. We stay for another two, down dog on one, hips up and then back. Breath in, breath out. Take another breath in, let another breath go. And on this inhale, lift your right leg high, three-legged dog, breath in. Exhale, lunge, tip it through towards your hands. Set your left knee down. Let's take, inhale, find crescent moon. Keep your back toes tucked under, lift your chest up, your arms up, and breathe. Send right hip back, left hip slightly forward. This next transition, if your left knee is already not loving the shape, bring your hands down first. If your left knee feels totally fine, keep your hands up. Let's take another breath in. 
Exhale for low flying crescent, lift your back knee, lean forward, airplane arms. Inhale, warrior two. Stay on the breath and pause here. That transition again wasn't your favorite, hands down, because we may do it on the other side too, and then come up into your low flying. Good. For high pyramid, straighten your front leg, arms up overhead, you might touch your palms together. Breath in to reach up. Exhale, triangle pose. Send your right arm forward and then down. Left arm up. Roll your chest open. Check here and see if it feels kinder to your low back to let your real left hip roll down a little bit. And then if you're happy here, great. This is a great place to work. Or if you'd like a little bit more oblique heat, send your right arm forward, palm faces the ceiling. If you'd like a little bit more still, left arm forward, palm faces the floor. Firm your right thigh no matter what. Breathe no matter what for three. We'll take reverse triangle in two. And then on one, inhale, reverse triangle. Exhale, low lunge. Here's the standing splits that I promised. So shift your weight into your right leg, float your left leg up. Hands can come to supports if you prefer. And the next thing is a choose your own adventure. You could explore toppling tree by engaging your low belly a lot, making sure your hips are level, and then maybe clasping your hands behind your back. Ooh. Second option, maybe depends on what you're feeling today, you might move towards some handstand kickups, hands down shoulder width apart. Make sure your gaze is straight between your hands the whole time. Left leg stays super strong and engaged. And then on an exhale, you might hop up and your hips over your shoulders. Whatever you're doing, do it for another three. We'll meet in forward fold in two. And then one forward fold, feet together. Inhale is halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, take chair pose, bend your knees, reach arms by your ears, breathe. Take a moment here to allow a little bit of heat to build up in lower body, a lot of strength, some stability. As I always like to say, your lower body is offering all kinds of strength, stability, support, so that upper body can find more lift, more space. So maybe hips sink down and back a little bit more. Take a breath in. And then exhale, hands to your heart. Take a twist to the right and I encourage you today to hover your elbow. Rather than touch it in or outside your knee, hover it so it's only oblique, both strength and flexibility that is doing the twisting more than your arms helping to kind of crank you into the twist. Sometimes that's what you need, but for today, since we're focusing on core strength a little bit more, hover your elbow, roll your right shoulder open, sink your hips a little bit lower, breathe for three. We'll take four, fold in two. And then on one, find forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Let's take chair pose again. Inhale, bend your knees. Reach your arms up. Breathe. Maybe even feel a sense of warmth, like I feel like my quads are really kind of getting warm now. Glutes, maybe a little bit of hamstring engagement here. Let's take another breath in to reach. And then exhale, hands to heart, twist to the left. Again, I encourage you to try hovering your elbow rather than touching down. Roll your left shoulder open. Keep pulling low belly in and up. And we stay for three. Four fold in two. And then one forward fold. Listen, inhale, halfway lift, or halfway lift to crow pose. And then exhale, chaturanga or plank. You could take a locust or an up dog on the breath in. Exhale, downward facing dog. Take a full breath in, full breath out. Inhale, lift your left leg. Exhale, lunge, step it through, back knee down, 
Inhale, crescent moon. Remember, keep your toes tucked under, arms up and reach up and breathe. So there's that same transition that we're heading to that we did on the first side. Totally fine to bring your hands down first, lift your knee with a little support. Or if not, find low flying crescent, lift your back knee, lean forward, airplane arms. So then left hip back, engage your right thigh. Inhale is warrior two. Pause, settle in on your exhale. Get active through your back foot. For high pyramid, inhale, straighten your front leg. Maybe touch your palms together overhead. Exhale, triangle pose, hips back, reach forward, left arm down, right arm up. Firm your right, rather left thigh, front thigh. Make your spine as long as possible. And then check in on this side. Does it feel more natural to let your right hip roll a little bit forward? Stay here, or maybe extend your left arm forward, palm to the sky. Stay here, and maybe send your right arm forward, palm to the floor. Whatever you're doing, breathe for three. We'll take reverse triangle in two. And then on one, inhale, reverse triangle, big reach. Exhale, low lunge, hands to the floor, pivot your back heel up. Find standing splits. Inhale, float your right leg. Maybe no momentum whatsoever for that transition. And then exhale, maybe it's a toppling tree. Or you might find your handstand kickups on this side. Same thing, hands shoulder width apart. Make sure your shoulders are directly on top of your wrist to start out. Right leg super strong and engaged. And then you might kick up with the strength of your left leg. And whatever you're doing, do it with steadiness of breath for three. Strong ujjayi breath, last two. Forward fold on one, forward fold. Breath in, halfway lift. Breath out, fold. Inhale, chair pose, last one, last chair pose. Breathe here, one more chance to, again, build some internal heat to see if you can find steadiness of breath here. And since the last one, you might consider lowering your hips a little further down and back for the last three. Reach a little further with your fingers, last two. Forward fold on one. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, you choose chaturanga, plank, maybe lower the belly. Inhale, locust or up dog or stay in plank. And then exhale, down dog. Full breath in. Full breath out. Take an inhale, lift your right leg high, press your heel away. Exhale, lunge, step it through towards your hands, set your back knee down. And then inhale, crescent moon, one more on the side. And then exhale, for half splits, hands down, shift your hips back, flex your front toes up, guide your right hip back, right knee, if it feels better to have it a little soft, a little easier, take a little soft, easy bend. And if you're still craving just a little bit more core engagement here, you might lift your chest a little, make sure you feel stable, so super strong in low belly and then reach your arms forward, palms will face each other. It's an option, you can always leave it out or take it, it's up to you. We're here for three. We're here for two. And then hands down on one, come back to your lunge, so tuck your back toes, lift your back knee up. Take an inhale for three-legged dog, pick your right foot up off the floor as best you can. Exhale, half pigeon, bring your right shin forward, untuck your back toes. Before you move forward into sleeping pigeon, you might look over your right shoulder to square your hips a little bit more, but also check your alignment of your back leg. It's not rolling to one side. And once you feel like you're satisfied with that, gaze forward, you can choose to come down to your elbows. You can always take a figure four stretch on your back if you prefer. Always support your forehead however you like.
in the philosophy of yoga, that core center is not only where physical strength, uh, mental, emotion, and mental, emotional um, strength come from, but it's also where discipline comes from. It's where that sense of sticking to the task, especially when it comes difficult. Take one more moment here. With hands under your shoulders, lift your chest, tuck your back toes, find scorpion dog. So lift your knee up, point it to the sky. As you breathe, again, let your right shoulder soften down. So the shoulder softening might increase the stretch across your right hip. Breath in. Down dog, breath out. Inhale, lift your left leg. Exhale, lunge. Set your right knee down, low lunge. Inhale, crescent moon, chest up, arms up. Pause. <clears throat> Guide your left hip back, breath in. Half splits of the breath out, hands down. Shift your hips back. Flex your left toes up. And then take a moment to check alignment. Sometimes left hip wants to roll forward here. Guide it gently back. Remember, left knee can have a soft bend to it. You can stay here. Let it be really focused on the stretch and hamstrings. Or you can add some core engagement. Make sure you feel stable. Lift your chest slightly. Reach your arms forward. Your variation. Breathe through it for another three. We are here for two. And then on one, hands down, back knee up, so back to your low lunge. Inhale, three-legged dog, pick your left foot up. Exhale, half pigeon, left shin down. Untuck back toes. Again, you have the option to look over your left shoulder Kind of guide your right hip forward. Also check out your alignment of left leg, right leg. <laughs> and then when you're ready, gaze forward. You can choose to come down to your elbows if you like, or roll to your back, or take any other variation. So the idea of tapping into inner discipline can come in really handy here. Sometimes for certain of us, it's really easy to kind of push through with strength and heat and warmth. The idea of continuous, continually seeking softening too, sometimes that comes harder for some of us. So you might check in here Look for some space in your hips. And a reminder that you're asking for it, right? You're not forcing it. You're not creating it. Not actively creating it. It's kind of letting it happen. One more moment. And then hands under shoulders. Tuck your back toes, find scorpion dog, left knee up towards the sky. Pause here. Decompress your left hip. Another breath in. Down dog is the breath out. Down dogs, take a breath in. And then your exhale, set your knees down on the mat. Come to sit on your heels. Back to hero's pose for a moment. All right, so last little bit that we'll do before we kind of wind it even further down is some Kapalabhati breathing. So Kapalabhati breathing um, is that it's a really quick stack of your belly. We'll do an exhale through the teeth. So it'll look and sound like this. So like 
Um, snap of the belly pushes the air out. Inhale, it happens automatically. Don't need to manage it. Let your hands rest wherever they naturally go. <clears throat> we'll do two rounds. First round will be about the pace that I just did just now. Second round will be a little faster. All right, so you can close your eyes if you like. And take a breath in. And here we go. seat, eyes closed, if that feels right, to, I can't observe, do a light scan. Notice what you notice. As you're ready, open your eyes, shift your hips off to one side, <clears throat> legs out in front of you, bend your knees. You can use your hands to help yourself lower down to the floor, or you can reach your arms out in front of you like you're kind of almost passing through a boat pose. Slowly lower all the way down to the floor to the count of four. Three. Not quite there yet, two. And then one, lower all the way down. You take a full body stretch here. So send your arms back, legs forward. Big breath in. And then breath out. Let's take a moment and fall in bridge or constructive rest. Arms by your sides. Bend your knees. <clears throat> Step your feet out towards the edges of your mat. Let your knees drop in. And then hands can rest wherever feels natural. Maybe on your torso. Maybe palms up next to you, next to your torso. No right or wrong way to do it, really. Take a moment here. As you breathe in, see if you can become aware of the internal heat that you've built, the internal warmth. As you breathe out, imagine that heat dissipating towards the edges of your body, towards like your fingers, your toes, crown of your head. So that heat that's in the core is dissipating out to every corner of your body. Extend your left leg long on the floor, extend your right leg up, and then wrap your hands either behind your thigh or your knee, or if it's available, maybe your calf. Um, even if you can grab your toe with your fingers, leave it up for now. It's going to add a little bit of engagement here. So here in this um, Supta Padangustasana, this reclined big toe pose, hopefully you're feeling a hamstring stretch of some flavor in your right leg. Let your left leg relax. And now I'll add just a little bit of resistance. So your hands are going to provide the resistance really gently. Like you want to try and pull your heel down to rest next down to your left leg. Just a little bit of effort here. One more round of breath here. 
and then right leg's been trying to release down, let it release down, and switch, left leg up. Same thing here, hands wrap around the back of your thigh or your knee, maybe your calf. Take a moment before adding resistance to relax right leg. Feel into the shape. Feel, hopefully, again, a hamstring stretch this time on left leg. And now, really gentle resistance that like you're trying to press your heel down to the floor, not your whole effort. more round of breath. And then release the resistance. Let your left leg relax down. Take another full body stretch. Inhale. Draw your knees to your chest. Exhale. Hug them in for just a moment. Open your arms wide to a T. Simple supine twist. Let both knees fall to the left. Let your chin fall to the right. Roll back to center, hips and the knees. And now switch, knees go right, chin goes left. Roll back to center, hips on the knees. Gather your knees to your chest one more time. Hands can always wrap behind your thighs if that's more comfortable. Option to bring your forehead towards your knees. One more breath in, feel like you're condensing energy in one more moment, pulling it in. And then exhale, Shavasana, expand. Relax your legs, your arms. If it's more comfortable, bend your knees. If you prefer a seated meditation, take a seated meditation. Give yourself time to make it comfortable, as comfortable as you can. Soften your jaw. Feel yourself sinking down into the floor. You've taken time to move and breathe. Taking time to get in touch with your body, perhaps deepen your sense of well-being, to replenish your cup. Which means that you may have more to offer others, more help, more assistance, more support. So thank you for choosing to practice. 
Stay in your Shavasana as long as you like. It's been my honor to be with you today. Thanks, everybody.